Our next guest has shattered glass ceilings and she has made history. And she's someone we're very proud to call a wildflower, which is people doing incredible things that we want to celebrate and highlight here on the show. When I heard her story, I freaked out. Watch this. Hi, I'm Lauren Simmons. At 22 years old, I made history by becoming the youngest and the only full-time female trader at the New York Stock Exchange. I am a Southern girl from Marietta, Georgia. I did not have a background in finance. I had no intention of making history. I just wanted to make my mom proud of the first job that I got after college. I made my way to New York and was offered a job at the New York Stock Exchange. I just hope that my story will inspire the next generation to help build a great future for themselves. Freaking out reading your story. Please welcome someone they call the Wolfette of Wall Street, it's Lauren Simmons. I'm so excited to meet you. I did such a deep dive on your story and Starting out, you were studying genetics yeah. because of your brother. Yes. Um, so you were drawn to a numbers game. Like, how did you find yourself in the New York Stock Exchange? What, what happened there? No linear pathway whatsoever. Oh. I, I went to school for genetics. I was in my senior year writing my senior thesis and realized hmm, this is not something I can pursue because uh, I wanted to alter DNA. And it's illegal to alter DNA only in China. And since I wasn't going to move to China and I could not speak Mandarin, I moved to New York, which is the second best city. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> New York is great. And, um, you know, I went and I really wanted to, numbers is a universal language. And so I said, where can I be where I can use numbers? And, and, and I ended up at New York. What I loved, <laughs> and I really appreciated this too, that you said somewhere, like be open to things maybe you haven't studied for or thought where your life's trajectory was gonna go. If a job offer comes your way that wasn't necessarily in your wheelhouse, be open to it, is that true? I love that. Yeah, be open to opportunities. I think we get so fixated on like what our plan ABC is and I think the most growth comes from people just stepping outside of their comfort zone, getting a little uncomfortable and taking a position, taking a job that you would have never thought of. I mean, I'm sure you have like, like roles. I didn't think I'd end up here. <laughs> I, I can say that, right. it's true. You, Which is amazing. At one time you were the youngest full-time female trader on the floor. One of the stories I loved was that when you and the boys would go to the bar afterwards, how would you handle that? I was the only woman um, on a floor with 250 men. And, you know, as a woman it, with no other women around me, you, you have to think of yourself. And so a lot of these meetings, a lot of deals get closed by going out and partying, which whatever. They would pass around rounds of tequila shots. And I would tell the bartender after the first drink, fill it up with water, put some salt, add a little lime to it, make it real. And I just be throwing back, you know, shots of water. God. <laughs> The second half of your sentence was, I didn't want to be like the sloppy, messy girl. And I was like, Oops. I spent most of my life being that girl. Life of the party.